Hey everybody, what's up? It is Amber. Welcome to Trim Tuesdays. I received the book Trim Healthy Mama, which looks like this. I got this, let's see, it was right around New Year's, I think. I was really excited to get this. Somebody had mentioned this book, so I went and looked it up and I was intrigued, but some of the things I read about it, like they like stevia and I don't, or at least I didn't think I did. Um, my stepmom makes tea with stevia and I never liked the bitter aftertaste and I just assumed that all stevia was like that. So anyway, I guess that put me off enough for a few weeks where I was like, I'm not reading that book. I don't want to use stevia. Even if it works, I'm not interested, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I passed on it. But then I kept reading more and more and more about it. And I thought, well, maybe I just need to get the book and read it, you know? And I finally came across someone's blog who had done a review on it. And they were talking about how um, the authors, Serene Allison and Pearl Barrett, they don't recommend um, like artificial sweeteners and um, things like that, that, you know, are full of chemicals. Like they focus more on like um, healthy foods and they don't even say that you have to cut out butter or anything like that. So I got really interested and I was like, okay, if this is the sort of philosophy that these ladies go by, I need to check this out. So I actually contacted them and asked, you know, if I could review their book. They said, sure, we'll send it to you. And it took a little, it took a few days because it was right around Christmas time and New Year's. But um, when I got the book, I was really excited about it and I started reading it right away. I read like the first hundred pages within two days. And um, as you can see here, I've, I've taken little sticky notes. I need to get those um, page dividers that used in, you know, high school, whatever those are called. Um, I don't know, the things you, you know what I'm talking about, that you stick on there. Anyway, so um, I started reading and it took me a while to read enough to really understand the program and what was going on. So um, I'm not even going to attempt to explain everything to you because I can't. Um, I really recommend that if you're interested in eating a healthier diet and losing some weight that you get the book and read it. If this is the first video of mine that you've seen, you really don't know what I'm about. Um, but I would never come on here and recommend anything to you unless I really believed in it. I'm not getting paid to say this. All I got was the book. I mean, a $35 book, I think is how much this costs. That's all I got. They're not paying me to say this. I'm not an affiliate, nothing like that. But um, honestly, I've been eating now like this for three days and I know that's not a long time and my husband is doing it too. Um, but it is really incredible because I'm not hungry. Um, and I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. There, like the basic idea between this, um, in this is you have two basic types of meals. You have S meals, which stands for satisfying, and you have E meals, which stands for energizing. The satisfying meals has more fat and less carbs. It's like a, they even have a little picture of a seesaw in it. The E meals are more carbs and less fat. And the idea is you don't want to eat foods in like the wrong combinations because your body will pull what um, what it can, the sugars, to fuel your body. And then whatever is left is going to get stored as fat. So if you eat um, specifically an S meal or an E meal, your body is going to burn the energy in that first, the sugar in that for energy first, and then it will start burning your own body fat. Um, and they also have their adjustments in here when, you know, once you get down to your ideal weight or if you are pregnant or nursing or whatever, there are adjustments that they go through that you can make so that you don't continue to lose. But um, it's really interesting to me because there's really, I'm not, I, so far I don't feel like I'm really missing out on anything. Um, like I said about the stevia, I thought that I hated that stuff because I thought that the taste in it was so bitter, but they recommend, they know that, they know people think that, so they recommend different brands of stevia, which I was actually surprised, um, to find in my Whole Foods. Um, it's called New Stevia or something like that. I'll put the link below, but, um, I bought it and, um, we drink a lot of sweet tea in this house. That's what we, we're in the South. We enjoy sweet tea. So um, 
I started making that with stevia and we found my husband and I who also love sweet tea. My husband has a big sweet tooth. Seriously. Um, he, I think would put sugar on everything if he had it his way. He put sugar in his grits, which I find to be completely obnoxious. I think grits should have salt, pepper, and cheese, and that's it. Um, but he put sugar and, um, so I knew that selling him on this would be difficult because he likes things sweet. So I started making tea with the stevia, even before I finished enough of the book to understand how I needed to eat and how to make the meals. I went ahead and switched that out. I switched out our sweet tea and we found that if we use the stevia brand that they recommend, the new stevia, and then um, put lemon in our tea, which we like doing anyway, so it wasn't, that wasn't an adjustment. You can't really tell and I really enjoy drinking that because what I was doing before in an effort to cut down on sugar was um, I would take sweet tea, I would like fill up my glass like a quarter of the way with the tea made with real, like regular sugar, and then I would fill it up the other three-fourths with water. So I ended up with very watery tea, and I got used to that. Um, to me, it was better to drink, it t that tasted better, watery tea tasted better than drinking water, but it it didn't taste good. I mean, it wasn't my thing, but now I can sit down at a meal and have a glass of sweet tea with stevia and drink it, you know, 100% tea. I don't have to water it down. And to me, it tastes good because it doesn't have that bitter aftertaste. And the lemon disguises the taste of the stevia because stevia does have a taste if you're not used to it. Um, there is another sweetener in the book that's um, it's a type of sugar alcohol that they recommend. And um, I've done a little bit of research on that. And it's not one of the ones that can cause like stomach issues. Um, but I don't remember the name of it right off the top of my head. But anyway, we're going to try that because it's supposed to taste just like sugar. But anyway, that that's just a side note. Just a, a little bit to let you know how they, um, you know, they don't say you have to drink unsweet tea or anything like that. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. So you've got your S meals and your E meals. And so last Thursday and Friday, I sat down and made out a meal plan for this week. And I actually planned out breakfast, lunch, supper, snacks and some days desserts and that was a big change for me because meal planning is not something that's new to me but typically what I would do is I would sit down and I would only plan out supper I wouldn't plan what we would eat for breakfast and I wouldn't plan what we ate for lunch um, what I usually do is I will pack my husband lunch I pack him leftovers of whatever we had at night so he eats at work he doesn't have to go out to eat but I did not previously think about what I was going to eat and what um, my son and daughter who were at home with me during the day were going to eat. And so that that was a problem because while I would feed my kids, you know, they would get oatmeal or grits or um, waffles or something like that, I wouldn't eat. And there were so many days when I would look at the clock and it would be 2.30 and I would be like, I haven't eaten yet. And it was pretty much just out of laziness because I knew I didn't have a plan and I may or may not have anything in the refrigerator to eat and I didn't want to cook anything and so it was just overwhelming to me because already taking care of two kids and trying to um, trying to build my YouTube channel and my blog and all that and clean the house and do all the things I need to do I was overwhelmed so I put myself at that bottom of my to-do list and all that got me was cranky I was extremely moody to everybody um, and I apologize for that. Um, and I wasn't, I wasn't losing weight. I wasn't healthy. I know that. Um, I started about two or three months ago going to the gym and working out and that was all fine and good, but I wasn't seeing any change, not just in my weight, because I know that that's not what you have to measure your success by. I mean, I did have a pair of jeans that were too little that I was actually able to fit in. But it puzzled me because my measurements weren't changing. Um, my body fat percentage wasn't changing. The numbers on the scale weren't changing. So I was getting really discouraged. And I think it's all because I wasn't eating. My body thought that I was starving it. And when I did eat, you know, it was probably high carb, high fat, just a big old mess. And um, I wasn't taking care of my body. So granted, yeah, I'm only three days into this, but Honestly, I've already lost like a pound and a half and this is not something and they'll tell you this They tell you this in the book. This is not for fast weight loss But I think at the beginning of just about any 
um, any dietary change that you do to try to promote health within your body, you're going to lose a little faster in the beginning. Um, but I do think that eating in a way where I'm giving my body one type of fuel or another so that it can work the way that it's supposed to. And also, I know it's going to take more than three days to convince my body that I'm, I'm going to take care of it now. I'm going to feed it on a good schedule that um, it's going to take more than a couple of days for that. But I think once that really happens and my body understands, hey, she's, she's feeding me, she's doing what she's supposed to be doing, that... Um, I'll really get into a routine of um, getting some of this body fat off that shouldn't be here. And um, I do want to address the fact that, yeah, I've been overweight pretty much since the seventh, sixth or seventh grade. Um, at, I have three kids, in case you haven't seen any of my other videos. Um, my pre-pregnancy weight with my first was 235 pounds. My pre-pregnancy weight with my second and third was 245 pounds. Um, each, well, with my first, I lost all my pregnancy weight in the first six weeks. With my second, I only gained 15 pounds, and she was 10 of it. And so um, that combined with the fluids and the placenta and everything, and that's TMI, I guess. But um, I lost all my pregnancy weight with her at her birth, honestly. Um, that 15 pounds was gone. Um, with my son, it's taken a year. Um, I think my highest pregnancy weight with my third, um, who was my second boy, I'm confusing myself and you, but my highest weight then was 270 pounds. And so, um, I'm actually under my pre-pregnancy weight with him now by two pounds. And I'm really excited about that. So, I weighed um, this morning and I'm 243 right now, so that's down from 270. My goal as of right now is somewhere around 170 pounds, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and I don't say that to say we'll see how that goes to see if I actually make it because this is the first time in my life that I actually feel like I can do this. I know that I can do this. I've been exercising consistently for um, two or three months now. And now that I have this plan of how to eat that's not going to leave me um, hungry or deprived in any way because you're not counting calories, you're not counting carbs, you're not counting all that. You're just kind of figuring out what you're going to eat and eating it in the right um, combinations. And snacks are not off limits. Desserts are not off limits. You know, there's there's not very much that is off limits. Um, so anyway, I do highly recommend this book. I think you should check it out. My youngest is crying right now, so I have to go. But um, I'm going to do updates um, frequently about um, my journey with this and updating you as to, like recipes and everything I do. Um, and, and how it's going. And I'll also let you know how it's going for my husband as well. So if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. Um, I'm also going to follow my journey along on my blog, and I will put that um, address for you um, in the description bar below as well. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions or comments about this. Um, yeah, and I will talk to you later. Bye.